Father, it means he is. Yahweh Shai is the name of his son, it means he is who he says. Rahakadash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. We are the real Hebrew Israelites. Let me get something for you. And we have Judah, which is um, commonly known as the, uh, well, I would, it's not just the blacks and Negroes, but I would say the West Africans and the people who were. Mainly part of the transatlantic slave trade and sent to America. We have Benjamin, which are the slaves in the West Indies. We have Levi, we have the other Haitians and Negro, uh, Haitians. We've got Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, we've got Manasa, the Cubans, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulun, the Guatemalans, and Panama. Uh, Gad with the North American Indians, Reuben, Seminole Indians, Asher, which are the Brazilian Indians, Issachar, Mexican Indians, and Nafali. So, the Nafali are the Argentinians, you know. So, the thing is that um, what's happened is that the, the real Hebrews are not lost in the desert the, the, the was it the lost tribes of israel are not lost in the desert they're not wandering around um, looking for their way home or they ain't run out of battery and can't find their, nav their navigation on uh, on maps their maps up now what's happened is that the real hebrews are lost in the mind they don't know who they are and the real hebrews are actually um from Jew, we can find out who the real Hebrews are when we go to Jew, or it'll be 2868. So let's have a look at that real quick. Get that. Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. I think we should read all of Deuteronomy 28. Let's see. And let's see who these prophecies fit. So let's get to Deuteronomy 28. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice, the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee high upon all the nations of the earth. This is what we would have had, had we listened to the Most High and done and kept his commandments and not gone lusting after other gods. And the, all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. So you, you know, like overtake. Can you imagine being overtaken by blessings instead of your sorrows? I think it's hard for me to imagine what that feels like, but to be overtaken by your blessings is like, it's like your cup overflowing you can't even cope with the amount of like good fortune that you have right blessed shall be in the city and blessed shall they be in the field blessed shall the fruit of thy body fruit of thy body is the children and the fruit of the ground which is your harvest and the fruit of thy cattle which is an increase of thy kin kind and the flocks of thy sheep blessed shall be thy basket in thy store so basically your businesses are going to thrive your children are going to thrive. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine eyes. So that means, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but it means when you, you know, when you come into this, come home, and then when you go out to another place. So when you when you come into your back to your own village or your own home, your homestead, you're gonna reap success. You know, or you, you know, if you. If you are, if you travel, let's say, if you travel to another destination, you're gonna set up there and it's gonna work. If you come, if you come back home, or so you stay at home, so you're where you where you came from, it's gonna work out there. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Seven is the number of completion, so you know they're gonna be completely scattered. You know, like when, when people are like, yeah, let's go, let's go. And they all run off, right? 
together because they're like, oh yeah, come back, come back later. These people, when when they come against you, they be so scared. They ain't gonna even look to see where their brethren's is running, which direction they're gonna be running proper scared. That's if they come against you. And fleeing before these seven days. So they come against you one way, they'll come together, go gang again. So they'll come against you all in the gang. When you come against them, they'll run, they'll scatter and they won't even look to see where their friend is. That's how they're gonna that's how scared they'll be. The Lord shall command a blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou such as thine hand to, to, unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth, giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee as a holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep his commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways, all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and, thy, and they shall be afraid of thee, and the Lord shall make the plenteous in good and in the fruit of the body so you're going to have lots of children so we've got Elam over here let me see if I can get my screen back on mm -hmm. okay let me just work this got Elam over here and he's plenteous man Elam uh, you know yeah, I think it says in the scripture somewhere, and I'll find it in a minute. Elam should the Elamite shall be fruitful, or Elam shall be fruitful, man. And the fruit of the body, as we said already, is children. They're plenteous on the earth, man. You know, and uh, and the Lord had blessed us, had blessed us really with a promise that uh, that should we keep His commandments, that we will be we will be also fruitful. The Lord shall open unto thee His good treasure. Oh no fruit of the ground and the land yeah plenty of things good the fruit of the body the fruit of the cattle and the fruit of the ground and the land the fruit is the increase the increase of your body you know the fruit the fruit of the tree right? your house shy you know curse the fruit tree because he didn't give up fruit which is a metaphor for that uh that 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 plant which has been tended or has been looked after fig tree takes it you need, you need a lot of care of fig tree uh, fig tree that don't give up fruit you know you've tended this care you've tended this 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 plant and it's given no fruit so you know anything that don't give an increase again like the parable of the talents you know uh, when the lord came yes, the the landlord came he wanted to know what had happened to his money what had been done with his money that he'd given each of his each of his servants and then a lot of them had come back with nothing you know no one had come back with nothing and I get cursed because you're meant to be fruitful, you're meant to multiply anything that's given to you. Even in nature you see everything's fruitful. It multiplies. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in thy good and in the fruit of thy body and in the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of the ground and in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to the the heaven to give rain unto the land in this in his season and to bless all the work of thine hand. And all that, and all thou shalt lend unto, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And that's a curse. It's a curse to have to borrow, and have to pay back with usury. In fact, usury is forbidden. You know, um, among Israelites. So, you know, you, we know that the 1948s, everything they're doing is a massive cope. To, or, or, or it's actually not just a massive cope, but it's more of a a plot a ploy to try and seem like they are you know they're the true ones let's put it that way you know if they can make sure that they're in control of that how uh, money is lent then yeah then surely that then surely it must be that they are they are he I'm trying to speak in code now surely it must be that they are he they can keep you know make sure that they um, everybody else is poisoned in the food and they're healthy surely they must be that they're he if they can make sure that they're the most fruitful or the most plenteous on the land of which they inhabit then surely it must be that they're he but they're trying to force the prophecies you know we'll see soon and the Lord shall make thee in the 
make sheep be the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only and shall not be belief. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe them and do them, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right, to the right hand or to the left to go after any other gods to serve them but it shall come to pass that thou will not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and do all of his commandments and all of his statutes which i command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field so it means you go into the sea you try and you try and uh you know make it with the merchants you try and make it in the city you try and make it on wall street no no man you're going to be the 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 first hired i mean the first fired and the, the last hired you try and make it in the you know you try and make it as a farmer you try and go out there you're going to be the first fired i mean first fired and the last hired anywhere that the israelites go they ain't going to be out to make it. That curse shall thou be when they comest in, and curses that sh thou shall be when they goest down. That's black people, or as uh, Hebrews, were were not making it easily when uh, when we go into new places, and when we stay at home, we try and make it there. We try and make a uh, build our kingdom. Some people do. But you have to understand that <laughs> everybody still sees you as an M word. Even the you know, even, even the rich, you know, even the rich like the Floyd Mayweathers and stuff like that. They ain't they ain't uh, they can say they made it. But among them, among the rich people, they're like, oh yeah, he's still a so so and so. Uh run among the rich Edomites, let's put it that way. The Lord shall send thee uh, upon thee curse and vexation and rebuke, and in all thy setters thine hand unto to do, until thou art thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord shall make thee make a pestilence cleave unto thee. You know, and if you look up on the, up on the uh, look up on the statistics for disease, you know prostate cancer um, black people the highest rate of diabetes black people blood pressure black people stroke black people always going to be um, our people who are suffering with um, disease uh, you know because it's part of the curses we you know until our lord yahweh shai comes back we're always going to be suffering with ailments among um, above a lot of the other nations people looking at, you know, the Italians, how come they live so long in Italy, you know, they got this Mediterranean diet, and then they talk about, you know, the Japanese, how they, they got this diet, and they, they seem to be living long, they got a secret to health, and long life, and, you know, whereas we, as a people, are actually built stronger, we're built, you know, um, and I think Tucker Carlson said this recently. You know, uh, the I ain't gonna say black people, but the is you know people that are descended from Israel, because black is the color. It's not it's not, in, it's not a nation, or it's not, it's not you know with the people that are descended from Israel, that we uh, something special about us. You know, so that whole we got a groove to us. You know, we got we got a flavor to us, and we we've got. A, a way of being, a way of thinking, a creative spirit, a strong mind. Yeah, we're cursed, man. We've fallen down all the time. There's these ailments. The Lord shall smite thee with consumption. Consumption being coughs and with fever and with an inflammation and with extreme burning and with, and with the sword and with blood. And so with the sword, you know, with but the sword we're talking about war you know like if you look in the Africa the whole place is ravaged by war a lot of the time you know and we know that Esau Edom's got his hand in it but nevertheless we're cursed of it the Lord shall call, um, the Lord shall and thy, uh, and thy heaven which is over thy head shall be brass 
and the earth which is under thee shall be iron. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means, but I think that the earth, when you try and till it, will be tough. When you try and turn the earth over to, to you know, to plant something, it's going to be like stone. I don't know what it means by um, heaven being brass. And the earth that is under shall be iron, the Lord shall make the, the rain of thy land powder and dust, for the, from heaven shall it come down unto thee. Make the, lane, the, make the rain of thy land powder and dust, and from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. So what we can see here is the like, kind of reversal of, uh, of, the, of the blessings, you know, almost like Esau got the blessing. But one, what it says later on in Deuteronomy, and I'm not going to get to it now because I want to get into a, something else. But what it says later on in Deuteronomy, that is that these curses shall come. Let's see if we can find it real quick. I'm not going to read all of this. But what we're going to see is in, in Deuteronomy later on. <clears throat> I ain't going to find it now. But well, later on in Deuteronomy. It says that the, these curses shall, you know, at the, you know, finally be reversed. I'll get some scriptures on that because I'm not sure if it's even here right at the end. But but in the end, when the curses are finally lifted up from us, it will be the other nations that have the suffer the curses of the other nations that these things fall upon. Let's get this uh, quick study on stubble and we'll run out. Stubble. Therefore, as far devised stubble, the flame consumes the chaff, so the root shall be as rottenness, and the blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the holy word of the Lord. So stubble is used quite often in the Bible. And stubble is that is that plant, a kind of like a tumbleweed plant. It's like a dry, crispy plant. Um, and people use it to start a fire. And when you, as soon as you put a fire on it, it just <laughs> the fire just rages through it, and you know what I mean? It flames up. Boom. You know, and you put your other little sticks in there and then you can start something cooking, but, you know, um, Isaiah 47 and 14, Behold, they shall be a stubble. So this is the curses turning around. This is them being stubble. They're going to be something that we are just going to consume. You know, I'm not talking about we're going to eat them. <laughs> but, like, when we come against them, we'll be like, we'll be like, match them. <laughs> to watch we're called to always keep our eye on the time first thing i'm always checking is the news <laughs> the two things i'm always checking checking that um, checking the news and i'm checking i'm checking the brothers uh, videos that's that's the thing that i watch more than anything you know because when the stub uh when the time comes you know it's gonna be things, things are gonna get hot and the stubble's going to get consumed and you know who's the stubble and who's the root we know who's the who's the head and who's the tail we know who's going to be um, the, the strong one who's the cursed and who's the blessed when these when these things come to pass let's see Obadiah 18 and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them. 
and they shall not be any remaining of the house of the Esau. The Lord has spoken. And when the Lord has spoke, when he says the Lord has spoken, he said, he's saying, you know, this is this saying, this is when the prophets is, uh, you know, are passing on this message or they're writing it down for prosperity, but they want you to know, they ain't coming from me. <laughs> you know, this is coming from the Lord, so you, better, you, you guys better take heed. And anyway, I'm going to shut off here. Um, keep watch. Keep faithful. And keep pushing this word. Stand on your guard. And keep this truth in your heart. Don't throw in the towel. Shalom.